What's going on YouTube? It's me, First True Review, back in here for another video today. Today I felt like getting some chicken, but I didn't want to go to my usual chicken places. So I decided to Google somewhere new and just, you know, try going there. So that means I got myself some never identifiable. It's a place called Paradise Chicken. So I've never had it before. The reviews are pretty good online. So I was like, let me go try it out and see. Um, I got a three piece comes in this huge box wasn't too bad it was like $15 so that's the that's a logo there if you can see okay we're just gonna open this up actually cuz you're not gonna be able to see anything for the picture there we go so this wasn't too bad it was 15 bucks and I'm excited to try it maybe I'll dethrone Jollibee who knows but before we get started guys remember to like comment subscribe then comment down below if anyone we try anything we we'll talk about I'm down to that as always timestamps in the description so we'll fry first two fries not too bad it's literally just like frozen fries but I'll mind me some Ooh, this feels crispy that's the chicken right there Let's go in Not too bad oh it's got a little bit of a spice to it i actually like it it's crunchy too super hot though so it's fresh but that's really good i like that reminds me of uh churches so how your how's your guys day today my day wasn't too bad just came down from Toronto, worked, busy day. It's it's days like today and days like other days where I realized that companies are really understaffing their their departments because it's just like, how are places so busy? How do companies not have enough money to fund it? Or why do they why do they care? Well, I mean, I know why they care about saving money, but they care about saving money so much that they bring down the experience for both the workers and the people, like the customers. It's pretty interesting. And that is all right. That being said, let's get into the topic of today's video. So, I want to talk about this for a while, and I completely forgot, and one of my other videos is talking about how I'm going to talk about it, and I just completely skipped over it for like two weeks, and now I just remembered and I'm getting back to it, so. I want to review an album from... One of my favorite, I don't even know if he's called, if he's counted as up and coming because he's been doing it for a long time, but we'll call him up and coming because he's getting more, he's getting more notice. So, rapper called IDK. IDK, ooh, this is a good piece of chicken, look at that. That's gonna be crunchy. I wish there was sauce, but. So, IDK is a rapper and singer. Can't forget a singer because he does that a lot from i believe he's from baltimore and i've been following him for quite a long time i'm pretty sure i started listening to him way back in the day because i heard of him through a youtuber and i guess they're friends when they're younger the youtuber is called hot damn i rock and he's talking about him like idk or jidk in his uh video so i'm like okay let me check out his music i checked out his music at the time and i was like okay this is really good so i've just been following him since then And since then, he's come out with some really good bodies of work. I was very bad. Is he real? You see for yourself. Simple. I think he just came out with this album called F65. Which was... I was really excited to listen to. Because F65, from what I was hearing, what I understood was him going in a different direction. Not completely different, but just a different direction for what he's been coming out with for the past. And he did, and it was really good. It was more like a jazz album, but it was done in a really good way. 
I think for one of the songs, or I don't know if it was the album or one of the songs where he was talking about how it was co-produced or produced by the musical composer for Hey Arnold, and I thought that was so cool, because I never really thought of that. I'm like, huh, why don't people get more, like, people like, like that who compose music to do albums for them, because I'm sure it'd be really good. So we're going to get into it track by track. After this bite. So first song is Cape Coast. I really like Cape Coast. It's like a short track, but it's a good introduction to the album. However, the next song, I really like the next song, uh, Pit Stop. Pit Stop, I believe, is one of the bigger tracks from the album. And it was really good. I think it says it's like a rapping track. I love the beat. I love the energy. I love how the, the song just flows. My chicken's falling apart. I think it's a really good song. Next one was Thug Tear. I like Thug Tear too. And I think Fat Trail did a good job. But I've never heard of Fat Trail before this. And when I first heard it, I, th I thought it was Kid Cudi. I think I thought it was Kid Cudi. Someone, someone who it's not him, I thought it was. And I'm like, this sounds like Kid Cudi. And then I was like, oh, it's Fat Trail. Who, who's that? So... So next one is Champs Elysis. I don't Elysis. I don't know how to say it. I'm butchering it. And it's not really a song. It does have like music in it, but it's kind of like him talking. Either way, it's not too bad. Salty's good. I like Salty. That was a single. I heard that before it came out because I believe it's a single. Ali Chapa. Good verse both ways. DSTP, I think that's what it's called, is a skit. So, so it's a skit. Now, Mr. Policeman, I remember when it came out, that was a lead single. And I'm not going to go back and listen to it a lot, but it is a pretty good song. It's basically like a jazz ballad of him singing about police brutality and being harassed by police, but still really good. I think that was the song that he said was co-produced by the guy who made the music for Hey Arnold. Still a really good song. This is a song I feel like people have like mixed feelings for, at least what I've seen on Twitter. It's Pierre Noir because it's a good song, but I feel like the subject matter from what I'm seeing on Twitter and from people talking, it's kind of like jarring for them to hear in a rap song. They're like, oh, it's a good song, but I don't want to like play it out loud or da 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 because of the subject matter. Still a really good song. I still like it. When I was listening to it, I listened to it in the car. So I listened to the album a few times, and every single time I listened to it in the car, and I was listening to it loud with my windows down. So I was like, it makes no difference, but still, I thought it was pretty good. Paper Chaser is really good, too. That's a good song. I really like that as well. I like the beat for it. I just, I just, like, I just like everything about that song. On Apple Music, it's favorited. It has like a star next to it, so I guess a lot of people do that, too. Elmina is really good, too. See... And is he real? He did one of those like dance hall numbers with uh, Burna Boy called December. Really good. Now, I really like when he does stuff like that. This one's like an Afro beat. Well, I guess that one's kind of like an Afro beat too. Nah, I count that more as like a dance hall. But this one's like an Afro beat. And it was really good. I thought it was really good. It's bouncy. It's nice. It's catchy. Good singing. All that good stuff. Georgetown and Radioactive are good. I believe they merge into each other which i think is, i always love when albums do that because i remember i was listening to the car and i didn't know this switched until radioactive because i already heard radioactive beforehand so i'm just like okay a little a good little uh switch tele cooler cooler i can't speak i can't say these things without butchering i feel so bad but that's a really good song too i really like to be for it but yeah i really like tele cooler 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 rabbits do okay so I think Rapid Stew, he does a really good job on singing it, but I just don't like the song. The song almost sounds like demonic to me. I don't know. It's just like something about it is very like down. It just makes me feel down. I don't know. The, the song is just like, it's a it's an alright song. I don't really like it, but I like his singing on it. I think there's certain parts on it where he sings really well.
850, way on top. I like that song. But the thing is, Rich the Kid, his voice reminds me too much of, like, Fortnite. I don't know, because I remember Plug Walk came out, and New Freezer came out, and Fortnite was huge. And I just linked the two, his voice, to Fortnite. I don't know. But it's still a good song. I still listen to it. It's in my rotation. Uh, we're going to fly through it because my battery's dying. Mo Passage is good. Stupid doesn't have a feature on it. He's just talking, but it's still pretty good. Still Your Man and Sate Nicholas and 118th are all right to me. Not my favorite tracks, but they're still pretty good tracks. I like Up the Score with Benny Butcher because I like Benny Butcher. I think it's a really good song. I like the beat. Uh, Superwoman. Please. Please. Superwoman's so good and I love Music Soul Child. I also skipped one. I skipped No Interlude with Music Soul Child. I also like that too because I just like him as a singer. I think he's a really good singer. I like that song, Sunny. I butchered that. That's fine. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's like what is, that's like his most popular song. Such a good song. One of his most popular songs. And lastly, it's like Freetown. Freetown's not really a song. It's more of just like an instrumental. But it's like an instrumental that leads out the album. Oh no, I really like the album. It's different for him. He's going on like a different path. While still like staying where he always was. But I feel like this album shows growth. And growth is what we like to see. Well, that being said, guys, that was Paradise Chicken. It was pretty good. It was all right. It wasn't better than Jollibee, but I'm going to make a clickbait title for this saying, is it better than Jollibee or something? You know, I just got to get the views going, but um, it was pretty good. I'll probably get something else from there, though, next time. Maybe the chicken sandwich. They have a lot. of They have, like, fish and chips, too, so I'll probably just, like, try something like that later uh, next time. I don't know. We'll see. And that was also my review of IDK. Um, his new album, F65, I thought was really good. Probably give that like an 8 out of 10. The, the album is better than the chicken. So that's good. With that being said, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below anything you want me to try, anything I'm to talk about. I'm down to do that. As always, check out the suggested videos in the side. And yeah, Paradise Chicken, 7 out of 10. IDK, F65, 8 out of 10. First true review. Peace.